Hey everyone, it's Lindsay and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Before we get started, I have exciting news. I've created an Instagram filter. It's called Affirmations of the Day. Basically, if you're trying to get into affirmations and positivity, but you don't know where to start, this makes it easy for you. So if you wanna download that, I will link it below. So on to today's video. A lot of you guys have been asking me about my mirror board, which I made about a month ago. So if you are like, what are you talking about? I have a link below about what a mirror board is and when I created this mirror board. So you can find out some more information. This board was sent to me from manifestation coach, Marcy Newman. She is also the creator of the mirror board and she invented this technique. So there's something called mirror work. Mirror work has been around and what Marcy did, she came up with the idea that you can put your vision board on a mirror and it will make you manifest 10 times faster. It is just such a powerful technique. And so I wanted to let you know where this came from. If you're interested in any of Marcy's products or her manifestation courses, I'm gonna link below so you can see because you know, people think things like this were invented a long time ago. No, like she's around, she's here, and there is knowledge to be shared. So linking that below, we also had her on a dose of bliss with a wealth of knowledge. I was also on her podcast. We are going to just link all of this below so you can have all of the resources that I have. If you're wondering how I can manifest, it's because I have mentors like Marcy and I want you to have that too. It's available to you right now. Onto my mirror board. I never really went over how I put it together, what's on it, and I also want to update you what's come true on it. What I really wanted to do on my mirror board is I wanted to have more confidence in myself. I had gotten into a really negative mindset and the purpose of this board for me, instead of like what I put on vision boards, they're usually goals I want to achieve. I do do intense, but this specifically, I wanted to put affirmations on because my mindset was just in a really bad place. I had stopped journaling and I thought, you know what? I want to have my positive affirmations on my board so I can look at myself, read it to myself, say it to myself and see myself doing that that's the purpose of a board you have to see yourself doing what you are you're not just saying it you're not just writing it we're taking it to the next level we are literally giving ourselves a pep talk so what i did and if you're making a mirror board you can have something like this or do it on your regular mirror i left a space open in the center so i could see myself and then i had my affirmations on here in a couple pictures like a vision board so well i have my affirmation over here which is money flows into my life in abundance. What's really crazy about how this is manifesting is I woke up one morning saying in my mind, money flows into my life in abundance. I have no idea why I was saying this when I woke up, but clearly this affirmation is subliminally getting into my mind to the point that I'm subliminally saying it to myself and I don't even know. That has been working within the month and Money has been flowing into my life. My last updates were how I manifested $10,000 per month, how I manifested $1,000 in a day. This is the first year I've consistently been able to bring in money every month because I am self-employed, I'm an independent contractor, so I have to bring in money myself. I don't have an employer giving me a salary. I have to go out and get money has been flowing into my life even during a hard time. I feel really grateful that I have felt very calm in that area of my life and I have to thank this affirmation for it. What we believe and how we structure things, we get. So, you know, these are the things I want, like one million dollars. I'd love to start making a million dollar business right here. I have a multi-million dollar business. Um, I have some ideas of things that I want to create. Uh, and since I put this on my vision board, I feel like my mind has been opening up. I always wanted to be a mogul, have a YouTube channel, be a journalist, be an entrepreneur, have products. And I have felt like I personally have the space to begin to take this on. You know, like that feeling you have where like you want to do so much, but you get overwhelmed and then you don't do it. I'm feeling that feeling subside one month into having a mirror board. Now I feel like I have room to let more things in and it's not gonna take time away from all my other things that I work on. Same things, 25 most popular TED Talks. I'm starting to see the path of how I can achieve this by growing my YouTube channel, growing my presence, and, and figuring out a time that I can pitch myself to start being in these sort of opportunities. Then comes my affirmations, which is the bulk of my vision board. So here I have, I am a motivational speaker. 
I have the perfect work-life balance, I have time to let my light shine. These are things right here. I am powerful beyond measure. Love grows where Lindsay goes. Oh, that's one of my favorite. I want love to grow wherever I am. I want everyone to feel love and light. All the things I want to tell myself that I am, I am putting these things on my vision board. These are things specifically that I sometimes talk myself out of that I need to be reminded of. I also have the journalist um, photos here. This is an area of my life where in my own mind, I'm holding myself back. I literally have all these made up thoughts. I just had a video about how we make up all these thoughts about ourselves while we're not good enough. As a journalist, I actually make up those things about myself and I wanna be vulnerable with you. And I wanna stop those thoughts because the old me would never tell myself that I wasn't good enough or hold myself back. I'm creating these stories. So I have these images on here to remind me that I've already done it, I'm already doing it. It's only me who thinks these things about myself, nobody else. So I need to limit those thoughts. So those are here. And then over here, I have all of my things to help me limit those thoughts. I am a magnet for miracles. This is probably my favorite affirmation I have on my board. It just makes me feel really good. Um, right here, you can just Google online affirmations. I'll put it up close. So they just are, my, my power is limitless. I radiate charm, beauty, and grace. I'm superior to negative thoughts. That one's actually manifesting and I didn't even realize that. Um, my business is expanding, growing, and thriving. I am brave and take risks. Um, I love myself, and I naturally attract loving relationships in my life. Oh, and this one is really powerful at the bottom. I can, I will, end the story. These are all the things I put on my mirror board, and they were in order to change my mindset. So, and I would say so far, I'm 50-50 more positive. Again, these things take time. I'm truly, I don't know, who you watch on YouTube, but I'm always gonna give you an honest opinion of how these things work. And it does work, but these things don't happen overnight. You have to reprogram thoughts that you have in your head, and that's just not easy to do. And something I had noticed is this worked way more powerful when I put it in my bathroom. So like for a while, for like two weeks out of this month that I've been doing it, I had it in this room here for when I film videos, but it's not on the wall. It's like on the table like this. So you can't like look at it all the time. And I think that affected the process of changing my mindset. But when I put this right in front of my mirror in my bathroom, oh my gosh, that is how you have to do it. Or you have to put it on your mirror in your bathroom. Like you have to put it somewhere you're looking because I can't even explain this, but let me tell let me try to explain what it feels like when you're doing this. Like, first off, it radiates light back at you. I can feel it right now. I'm getting like chills. And when you see for me, when I say these things out loud and read them and then look at myself and try to, I try to repeat it so I can memorize it and literally look into my eyes, I'm telling you, it feels like you're falling in love with yourself. And I think that's what's happening when you use a mirror board is you allow yourself to fall in love with yourself. You know, when you fall in love with someone, you look at them in their eyes and you tell them kind, loving things that you believe in them. And now imagine doing that to yourself every day, like a mirror board helps you fall in love with yourself. And when you love yourself, you're more confident to achieve the things you want and to believe yourself. So I do feel that this is making me become that person and reminding me how powerful I am, how much I should love myself. And you know, if you're someone who doesn't believe in the law of attraction or all these things, I have a blog post, which I'll link below, that goes into the science behind why looking at a mirror is so positive. It's psychological. I mean, think about it. All the times you look into the mirror and how many negative things do we say to ourselves? We look at ourselves and we say, there's a wrinkle or, oh, I look fat or, oh, I, whatever it is you say that you don't like about yourself. We say that in the mirror, but how many times do we say that we love ourselves to ourselves? You know, and, and that's why a mirror board is so powerful. And that's why things like this help and amplify manifesting. And it takes more than just a month. You aren't gonna, you know, get abs in just one month's time. You know, it's a lifestyle. It's an everyday battle. It's not easy. You have to do it every day. And then all of a sudden you start realizing what's happening like for example i could tell you i feel like i'm not confident all the time but then why did i wake up saying money flows into my life abundantly without even realizing it subconsciously i catch myself having the thoughts that are written on this board so the way affirmations work and changing your mindset is you don't even always know that it's happening it's subliminal and one day you wake up and you're like 
what bothered me before doesn't bother me anymore. I'm more confident. And that's how this works. So if you have a vision board, if you do a mirror board, and you're not feeling better in just one month's time, that's completely normal, you know? And my suggestion for this is have it in a place that you can look at every day because what I did wrong is I put it in a room on a table for half the month and that kind of set me a little back. And so I really wanted to share that part so you can kind of know how to make this feel better. Oh, and one last thing that I forgot to tell you that is manifesting. So I own a multi-million dollar business. Okay, we're not there yet. But I want to do things like have affirmation journals, courses, I want to be a speaker, I want to grow my channel. There's a lot of things I wanna do. And what's really cool is Marcy, the creator of this board, actually asked me if I wanted to create a motivational manifestation course with her. She asked me, like, you guys, like I did not tell her that was something I wanted to do. She really reached out to me and asked me to do that. So if you do wanna see me do a course and you guys would be interested in it, comment below because that could be something that manifests sometime in the near future. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to know more updates on my manifestation journey or you have any crazy manifestation stories, please comment them below. I want people to be inspired that this stuff works. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.